Okay, welcome, welcome to all you viewers. As everyone should be aware by now, I am Marcus, aka Lordy Funny for the people on the Lordy Circle, and I am joined here by. You can introduce yourself if you want to. Okay, and uh, this is Gina Cartoon talking to you. And, and we, <laughs> we are here today to discuss the topic of if we were given the opportunity to join Lordy's ranks and uh, be a member, what position we would like to have, what uh, instrument, what monster, what kind of character, and that kind of general shit. <laughs> so, how shall we begin? Well, we would actually have to figure out, like, saying what kind of undead monster we would be, like, saying, joining the undead ranks. So, do you know a couple of um, undead zombies or mythological um, monsters in mind? Well, you know, I've never actually really thought about it that far as what general, like, I don't even know if I have any kind of like stereotypical monster that I have, but you know, every time I've thought about what kind of look I'd have, I just always picture in my head something like, a, you know, Venom from Spider-Man, pretty much something like, you know, black and sharp fucking teeth and something very, I don't know, reptilian, I guess, something very sleek and nasty with like fucking claws and shit. With a little bit of oozing from the skin now and then. Probably, probably. If it was actually up to me, um, back in college I was given a nickname The Grudge and also the um, Thousand Year Old Chinese Mummy. So, <laughs> I don't know why, it's just because either I talk, um, they said I talk too fast or saying like, I bring up all these retro games and everyone keeps mistaking me for Asian when I'm actually not. Ah. So, um... As uh, if I was probably a monster, I'd probably be like, um, I don't know how you pronounce it, Jiangxi or something like It's a Chinese zombie vampire creature. Oh, cool. But it's also a nickname as a hopping, um, hopping zombie, hopping vampire. Mm. And it's also blind. So, yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, but that would be an interesting costume. Oh, it would. Because um, I've already actually drawn out a couple of things, and I really want to create the actual costume and make the mask, but because um, my pay, um, the money I got, I don't exactly have enough funds to do it. Mm. Well, maybe someday. Fingers crossed. And also, I never actually tried out contact lenses, so that would be a new thing for me as well. Yeah, I've never tried them either. It, it would be kind of cool to just put like. By Mr. Lordy style, like red contact lenses that could walk around scaring people. Oh yeah, especially after dark. Oh yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, do you have any kind of position in mind in the band where you would be? Well, I've always wanted to try either the drums or the bass, to be honest. Hmm. Because, um... I know that the guitar takes a lot of skill and it probably takes years and years, but if it was like to learning, I wouldn't mind any precision at all, to be honest. Mm. But mostly what I got in mind is either the drums or the bass. Yeah, when I've thought about it, really, I don't have any musical talent whatsoever, although I like to pretend that when I do fucking vocal covers every now and then, I love to sing, but I can't sing, so fuck it. Yeah, the only uh, um that's the only thing I'm good at. This it's the only thing I'm good at is singing actually. But um I wouldn't say it's actually good enough, to be honest. And really when you think about it, any other position is open except for the vocals because that's for Mr. Lordy and the point where Mr. Lordy leads is when Lordy is kaput. Unless he needs a new backup singer since Kida left. Yeah, yeah. Which is what I'm thinking about most about the next album, since Kita sang like, like Mr. Lordy put it, fucking 99% of all the backing vocals. I wonder how the sound of the band is going to change now when Kita's gone. Um, they were actually going for a new heavy sound, so maybe they might not be a backing vocal. Mm. What Unless 
Awa can actually take um take over that. She was a good singer, if you remember in one of the videos when Kitta was dancing. Yeah, she is. She is, but uh, I like I remember like Eurovision when they Eurovision has the rules that uh, the music has to be playback, but all the vocals have to be live. So the band had a lot of thinking about how to, how are they going to pull off all the backing vocals of Hard Rock Hallelujah live. So they had the members singing live, and then when they're all in the chorus, there are those high notes. Uh, they had uh, Pasi Rantanen, who is the former singer of uh, the band. I think it was Thunderstorm was the band, but they've since broken up, and I think he's currently in a band Heavy Saurus, which is a Finnish kid metal band. But oh, with the dinosaurs, isn't it? Oh yeah, but but I digress. So he was there with the backing vocals, you know, in the hood and Gene Simmons makeup and shit. And then when they hit all the high notes in the chorus, they always cut, the cameras always cut to Awa singing. And everyone's just like, oh, wow, she's just such an amazing singer. Those are amazing vocals. And Mr. Lordy then actually broke it to people that, yeah, actually, Awa did all the low notes. Those high feminine sounding notes, those were pussy. He was singing those. Really? I actually thought it was Awa. Yeah, apparently Awa can't go that high. She did all the low notes and Pussy did all the fucking high notes. So they were like, ooh, cool woman singing. No, that's a dude. <laughs> Didn't Ouch. even know that. Now, to be honest, I can't even sing high either. Because if you remember that um, video I did with um, Mountain Town um, from South Park. Ooh. Well, my vocal abilities too, they're like, uh, well, speaking of high notes, you know, I can't my vocal range is limited so I can't do like everything fucking like Iron Maiden, Bruce Dickinson kind of shit or Dio, no way in hell can I pull that off but high notes no, yeah, if, I, I, if I do a falsetto then yes but that's the kind of like King Diamond thing where it's no longer like how high you can get with normal singing and how broad your vocal range is, that's just falsetto is a whole other style of singing Oh yeah, it's um when it comes to singing, I can only sing something like um sometimes instrumental with my own voice or something out of blur or gorillas. Yeah. I've noticed my vocal abilities are best suited for something like Marilyn Manson. But then again, you know, Manson's vocal style is he does a lot of screaming and I've noticed that he has that very distinct style. I can't quite pull that off. So but you no, know, a lot of the like newer songs since his vocal abilities of course with everyone with age it digresses except for some people like for some odd reason someone like Udo is just getting better but anyway <laughs> I've noticed my my vocals basically I my the tone of my voice is the kind that I can I think I can replicate Manson pretty well and I am learning the screaming slowly but surely but you know the more simple songs where you don't have to scream at the top of your lungs, I can do best. And then I've also, strangely, know that, that Starlight So is something I can pull off pretty well. I think my voice is also suited for that kind of stuff. I think I have similar voice as Starlight, except my vocal range. Again, some songs, I just wonder, how the fuck does he does that? do that? My voice Probably drink a lot of lemonade, good. to be honest. Probably. I don't know. The professionals do different things, like... Mr. Lordy, he smokes a cigarette before he goes on. Just get the throat a little bit, um, I don't know, how do you say it, like, um, sharpened or something like that? Yeah, he, he said that his vocal style is he always has to have this, as he puts it, a chronic flu, that he always has to have, like, phlegm in his throat, because that's what he uses to do the lordy voice. He just has a lot of slime and flame in his throat, throat and then he just uses that to use the lordy voice. So he just smokes a cigarette to help that process and then he just does that so it's not as much singing. Well, as for me, when it comes to singing, I normally let some air out of my lungs. Do you, you know the um, girl from the um, grudge when she makes that sound? Yeah. That's, um, that's how I normally get ready for singing because I used to be like in um, school plays and I'm normally the lead singer. Oh, really? Yeah, so what I normally do is just go uh, for a while and then suddenly I can sing a nice harmony song. That's kind of an interesting word. We're not, since I'm not really a professional singer, you know, I just tend to 
usually. I don't even warm up anything. I just go like, heck, I feel like singing, and then I just go ahead and do it because I don't have any... Just like singing in the shower. Exactly, exactly. It's pretty much like if I'm home alone. Everyone's home alone. I think I'll just walk around and sing or some shit like that. And then it tends to be the same songs over and over again, like fucking Marilyn Manson and Starlight So and shit like that. And And I've also more or less perfected my lordy voice over the years because when mr lord he said how he does it that was finally when i realized okay he does it that way and i tried the same thing and it worked although i use just what there is i don't i don't smoke or anything so my voice my lordy voice it holds for like a couple of songs and then it just disappears i don't like it drinking fluids helps to build that voice but it's not nearly as stable and just slimy as it is with Mr. Lordy, but... But again, just try and drink some, at least, raw lemon juice, because that way the acid would kind of um, ruin your voice. Um, I wouldn't say ruin, but, you know, roar up your vocals. Mm. Yeah, I've always wondered how that, how long Mr. Lordy is going to be able to pull that shit off, because, like he said, the smoking helps the singing voice, and it, you can totally tell that somewhere, like, get heavy. And compare it to something like a dead ache, you hear clearly how his voice how starts to, is. yeah, how it starts to get deeper and it just gets kind of slimier. It, the, he sounds better now, but even though the smoking might help his singing voice, but uh, it doesn't necessarily help his uh, general health. But then again, this is a man who doesn't exercise, eats fucking chocolate, drinks Dr. Pepper and Pepsi. Although a while, a while leader. ago, um... I think it was in the gig a while ago. He actually looked a little bit slimmer mm, I, from what I he was know. before. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe his wife has forced him to exercise or something. I remember a couple of years ago, he's, he said in an interview that his wife loves to go out for like jogs and shit. And he was dreading the day when she forces him to do that because just the <laughs> thought of exercise is enough to make his skin crawl. I actually thought that um, either Amen or Ox probably dragged them along when they were going to the gym. Yeah, they're all probably take care of their health. Mr. Lordy is... Yeah, no. <laughs> probably like, come on, you can use the exercise. Me and Amen do it all the time, and all, etc. Yeah, and he's probably... Well, I would say fuck it, but the funnier answer would be, yeah, cool, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. And then don't do it at all. Yep. But, then but again, yeah, let's just hope that he does go to the gym now and then, you know, just for his health reasons, because we don't want to lose him in a way. Yeah, but then again, this is the man who said that when it comes to priorities in his life, his general health is somewhere like 15th on the list. He puts his kiss toys ahead of his health. That's more important to him than his own health. But Pretty much like me with my Jesse collection. Yeah, pretty much me with, you know, anything. I either I I don't generally do fucking anything because I think, you know, fuck it, we're all gonna die eventually. 